Hey, what's good, fam? Thank you for joining us for another. I'm looking over here. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's so Three. hard. <laughs> Hey, what's good, fam? <laughs> it's your boy, Ed Love Live. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of The Love Bus. Say what's up, Mrs. Love. What's up, Mrs. Love? Mrs. Love's in the house, and we ready to just do this thing. Today, we're going to talk about the renovation of the bathroom. Ain't that right? Yes. All right. Got Sammy here. He's just chilling down here, but he's here. So we're going to talk about the renovation to the bathroom in The Love Bus. We're going to show you guys some pictures, mm -hmm. and we're just going to talk about what... Uh, what I had to go through to make this thing happen. So um, first, before we start, I want to give a shout out to our youngest subscriber. What's up, Will? Hello, William. You watching Hi. us? What's going on, brother? Thank you for tuning in. How old is Will? Four. Will is four years old. He's our youngest subscriber, so what's up, Will? I don't know why he like watching us, um, but he likes it. So big up to Will. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the Love Bus bathroom. So when we first bought the Love Bus, uh, the bathroom just wasn't what we wanted. We knew we were gonna rip it out, mm -hmm. but um, we just didn't know what we were gonna do with the bathroom. So start the renovation, and that's exactly what we did. So we ripped out the entire shower, we ripped out the sink, we um, the toilet, we ripped out the toilet, we ripped everything out, the flooring, we pulled all that up, and then we were like, okay, what are we gonna do with it now? And um, so, Miss Love, what did you think about the bathroom when we first got the RV? I, know, I mean, I know you didn't like it, but when you realized we were gonna be living in it forever, what was what was on your mind? <laughs> um, I don't wanna have to say this in every video. What? The water pressure in the shower. <laughs> They know but, about... But, but it's okay, because guess what I did this week, you guys? I used to shower over there. She did. The one that I complained about, it had well water, mm -hmm. and it might ruin my hair color, but man, the pressure was amazing. Thank you for letting them know that I ain't do my job here getting you good high pressure in the bathroom. But I'm working on that, fam. I'm going to get her but, um, good pressure. But, I mean, it's an older RV, so it was a little dated. Um... Yeah, it was some old grandma stuff up in there, as y'all can see from the pictures. So yeah. we knew we were going to change it out. So off to Lowe's we go. And that's what we found. Our uh, shower and the base of it and all that. Uh, that's what we found. I spent a lot of time in the parking lot uh, at Lowe's trying to figure out what we are going to do with the bathroom. And so the easy part was pulling it apart. Yeah. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Brother can tear up some stuff easy. <laughs> Ain't got a problem tearing up stuff. It's the putting it back together part that uh we had a problem with. Yep. Because I'm not a handyman. I, I don't know a, oh, a lot. Oh, but you did a good job not being I, a handyman. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you, YouTube, because this is where I got all <laughs> my information from on how to put back together a bathroom. Um, but the first thing I want to say about the plumbing in the bathroom the plumbing in RVs, it's not the same as in a residential. When I say not the same, I mean they have PVC piping, you know, all that good stuff. But the sizes, these sizes are off. And maybe it's just my RV, but yeah, I, I pulled out a pipe and I go to a regular, you know, uh, Lowe's to try and get another pipe or a P-trap or something. And I'm like, yeah, I need this size. And they were like, uh, we don't see all that size of a uh, PVC pipe, and so I've already pulled this stuff out now. And now I'm finding out that residential uh, plumbing is different from RV as far as the, the standard sizes. And so now I'm like, oh crap, what the heck am I gonna do? I done pulled all this stuff out and they don't even have right sizes. So what I ended up having to do is change everything out to residential type. Uh, piping. So the residential type, when I say residential, I mean the sizing. For whatever reason, the sizing of the PVC is different. I had to get all kinds of stuff. Now, I already cut the piping, the PVC to match what I have, but I had to, basically, I had to go from a one inch to a two inch. Then I had to do a 90 degree angle. 
I had to cut all kinds of smaller pipes just to make this work. So I'm getting ready to put it all together. I'm gonna get a Thailand's video going and just wanted to let you know that if you're gutting out your RV, really take a look at your PVC piping and make sure you can get the uh, exact piping at your local hardware store or you may have to go to an RV Super Center. For me, I had to make it do what it do. So I made it work with a, with a bunch of connections. So now I'm gonna get my uh, PVC pipe glue and all that, get all this together. And I'm gonna have it on video so you guys can see. This your boy Ed Love Live. I'm out, peace. So yeah, our, our new bathroom has <laughs> residential PVC piping. Um, Cause that was the only thing that was gonna make it work. Other than um, rigging it up with some duct tape or something. And I, I ain't wanna do that cause we live in an RV, so I ain't want to duct tape it. What? I ain't duct tape nothing. No, I'm just waiting for you to mention um, how you made a mistake with the size toilet you got. And we have that big old step stool in there, oh, so I can get to it. We're going to get to that. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, that was a, a mistake. So we're going to get to that. I gotta show y'all something. But anyway, so we got the uh, the bathroom all ripped out and I got the piping. And so I started putting it all back together. So I'm gonna show you guys a, a time-lapse video. Maybe not time-lapse, but I think I have some video for you guys to check out or at least some pictures right here. So, um, got it all ripped apart. I had a challenge with the P-trap in the um, in What's the shower. P-trap is that little, um, one, you know, the drain of the shower? Mm -hmm. Well, the water goes through the drain and then it goes down into the, what they call a P-trap. The P-trap just takes a loop and comes back up and then goes out. So the reason for that loop is, I don't know. That's stupid. It's not stupid. Well, Somebody mean? know the, the, the reason Yeah, for someone tell us tell us in the comments what why it's like that oh, or even stupid? like the sinks like there the sink like, has the same there that's so trap. stupid I, I, that's so stupid it should just go down no you gravity. can't do that why? I, I had it in my mind when i was doing it because i read it but no you need that p trap. there's a purpose for it you cannot just go straight out there is a purpose okay. and after this video i'm gonna find out and i'm gonna tell my wife about it okay 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 so that was a challenge of p-trap only because this this uh, rv was was like a custom mac daddy back in the day and so the standard p-trap wouldn't fit into the the uh, area where the original p-trap came out of now remember the sizing of the pvc and the p-trap are totally different from rv versus residential now i got a residential p-trap i have to put in so it wouldn't properly fit so I had to do some engineering, you know, because I took like uh, th two or three classes of engineering at the University of Houston downtown. So I, I got some engineer in my blood. So what I had to do is I had to lift the, uh, I do. Okay. So I had to take the base and I had to lift it up uh, some inches off of the flooring and then I had to put some uh, stabilizers up under it and brace it real good. And Oh, that's why it's high. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Because I had to lift it up so I can get the P-trap in there as well as the piping. Because oh. with it sitting on the floor, I could not get the P-trap. The P -trap. lineman's leaving. Oh, focus. Sorry. So, so yeah, so our um, base of our um, shower is, is lifted up about six inches so that I had to engineer it to work. And uh, so yeah, that's what I did to get the P-trap in there, make sure it drains properly and drains out of the RV. So that was the base of the, uh, of the- uh, P-trap. The shower. Oh, the shower. So let's talk about the, uh, <laughs> the, the residential sink. You wanna talk about that? It took so long to pick it. Yeah, it took a long time to pick the sink, but it, because of the sizing, we don't have a lot of room. So we ended up purchasing a nice small, it, you know, um, sink with the with the base already on it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we had to get it. It's in there real tight, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no 
room at all between the base of the shower and the um, cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. Yeah. There you go. There Same we go. cabinet. So, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, we only had a couple hours of sleep. Um, so it is like really flush. So there's no, I don't, I don't know. And then we had to leave the back open for the pipes, mm -hmm. right? So we have kind of like this gap. Um, behind it, which is fine because the plant hides that gap. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was. Maybe we should have left that sink in there. Man, that old grandma sink that was in there. We got a nice faucet. The faucet is really nice. I love it. You can just yeah. tell nice faucets when you go to turn it on and off. It just has this nice, strong feel, you know. And that's what I like. The one we had in there before was old plastic bowl. We got a nice ceramic bowl in there and, and, and it's nice. yeah it's nice i really like like the sink mm -hmm. and uh so yeah we're putting it all back together we had to get the flooring in there first so you can see the flooring now that we had to get in there and then we had to work the plumbing all around it install the, the i can't even remember linoleum oh okay oh yeah yeah they saw it's in the pictures i don't know i, I feel like everything was carved no no not okay. there. it was linoleum okay. and it was horrible he almost fell out of that chair oh, God. Quit laughing at Sammy. So we um so we got the flooring down, the base down, then we put the sink in there, and then we get to the toilet closet or what they call that water water closet, water closet where the toilet is located. Mm -hmm. And um, it's still not done. Yes. Yeah, it's Stop. not done painted. You got that big old hole behind it. <laughs> Some of the floor. Speaking is of the hole, <laughs> speaking of the hole, this is what the hole is all about, as y'all can see. <laughs> So, uh, the, you definitely want to get rid of the toilet that was in there. And then they had carpet in the bathroom. Oh, that was so oh gross. it was disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. So, of course, we rip all the carpet out. We put flooring down. And now it's time for the toilet because the old toilet got to go. I mean, this thing this is a used RV. I don't know who booty been on that seat and what they've been doing in there. So, that thing had to go. So me, as a man, I'm researching these toilets and I come to find out there's a difference in the diff the toilets that go in RVs. You have some plastic bowl toilets and then you have ceramic bowl like residential homes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, shoot. And then I started looking at the weight limits on them and they were like, hey, if you a big boy, you need to get the ceramic because you sit on these plastic ones, the wife may have to come get you off the floor in the bathroom because you do big to be sitting on <laughs> these plastic ones. <laughs> And so I said, okay, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to get the Mac Daddy Hashitashi 2000 toilet, you know? So I go online, research, and I see the Hashitashi 2000 toilet. I say, yeah, that's the one I want because, you know, it's rated for my weight. It feels like the toilet in a house, and that's what I want. Bam, they deliver it. I'm happy. I pull it out, go into the water closet. I put it in there, and Lord Jesus. The Hashitashi 2000 was too big. I mean, it's huge, as you can see. It's it's big this way and it's and tall. tall. <laughs> and so so we have like a two-step platform in the bathroom, as you can see. So the toilet sits on the top part, so it made it even taller. Yep. And so I'm like, good lord, you gotta be a giant to sit on this. So now we had to put this uh, stepping stool in our bathroom just to get up on the toilet. Mm -hmm. But now it's up against the wall and it won't fit. It won't properly fit on the uh, drainage hole because it's too long, you know. And so my <laughs> only six credits in engineering told me to bust a hole in the wall and that way it could sit kind of in the, in the wall. And so and the hole is still there. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I got some engineering plans in my mind. And uh, but yeah, as you can see, we got a big hole behind our toilet, but it fit, don't it fit in there? Well, I guess. It fit, but you gotta be eight feet tall to sit on the toilet. It's so hard. I almost fell out of yeah. that um water closet because the step stool kind of did a little doop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, plenty of times, it's there. dangerous. So if you're ever visiting the Love Bus, uh, use the you bathroom. Might, you might want to go use the bathroom. Yeah, over there. <laughs> yeah, unless you like Lebo, who's like eight feet tall. Yeah, you can come in and use it because you just sit right. But yeah, for us, we got to use a stepping stool. Um, yeah, so that that's the toilet. But we got it all changed out. Yes. I got a video for you guys. I got some pictures for you guys. And uh, and that's that's our bathroom renovation. So you see the before 
and then you see the after. But I'm still working on the water cloth. I got some painting to do, and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that hole, yeah. right? Yep. Cool. Oh, why don't we just get another toilet? Yeah, see, getting another toilet, that's my thing. This Hashitashi 2000 costs a lot of money. And uh, I need to get my money's worth out of it. So I think I got about 25 to 30 more poops to go. Once I finish that, that's gonna take me probably about a month, month and a half, okay? <laughs> All right? I gotta get my poops out of this toilet. So once I get my poops out of this toilet, then I'll go buy the right toilet for it, which is much lower to make my wife comfortable, okay? Hey, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Uh, remember to subscribe. Share this video if you like it. If you don't like it, share it anyway because somebody going to like it whether you like it or not. But hopefully you like it. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs>